Good morning again. In Kentucky, the December tornadoes left behind a lot of physical damage. But natural disasters can take a mental toll as well, including on kids. News Channel 5's Cole Johnson live in downtown Nashville. And, and Cole, what are the, uh, some of the ways that uh, we can talk to kids about what went down? Hey, good morning, guys. Well, we know it's important for these kids to be able to heal because these experiences could have been very traumatic. These storms devastated a lot of the area, and we have some things that you want to be on the lookout for, and we want to be able to help you guys help these kids. So FEMA lists out what to look for when to know to know when a kid may need help coping. Things like nightmares, changes in eating or sleeping, flattened emotions, irritability, and hearing scary noises that aren't there. Pay attention if these normal trauma signs are lasting several months, get worse, or are impacting their day-to-day -day lives. That could point to needing some additional help. Now let's shift over to the caregivers. This is mom, dad, grandma, grandpa, any kind of caregiver. Here are some ways you can help, according to mental health experts. They suggest have a regular routine to create a stable environment, to remind the kiddos of different ways they can stay safe. Point out what they do a good job doing and their strengths, the positive stuff. Ask them how they're doing and listening. This means basically saying treat them like a person and don't force them to talk if they don't want to. Practice calming exercises and try to limit how much they are seeing about tornadoes. And we're going to have some different groups that are that you can turn to and we're going to have those posted on newschannel5.com later on this morning.